Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am accomplishing this winged. Mm, look at that zoom. This is the old timey zoom lens. Um, I'm accomplishing this winged eye look using the Eye Candy Gentle Adhesive Eyeliner Stencil by Beth Beauty. Excuse me, Beth Bender Beauty. I found this, I want to say it was either on Facebook, it may have been on, um, well, it was somewhere on social media, maybe Pinterest, or um, maybe, I don't know. It's probably Pinterest or Facebook is where I saw this. So I was intrigued. Um, you can do different eye looks using these um, tape guard to help you do a wing. Um, I didn't read directions. I pulled them off. I put them on and um, then I kind of cleaned it up. To be honest with you, I really liked them and you're going to see why. I am just an absolute idiot when it comes to um, winged liner. So this was fun to try and I ended up mm, loving it with a winged look. So if you have trouble with winged eyeliner, stay tuned. Again, this was the first time I'd ever used this. And I didn't read directions, and I ended up with a winged eyeliner. I don't know. This product might be the bomb for us women. And it came with an additional stencil, and I plan on trying to use that tomorrow with a different eye look. So we'll see how these stencils work, and I will report back to you so that you can see if it's worth your money or not. So if you want to see how I created this stenciled winged look, stay tuned. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So we... Um, have got the trend of doing the perfect eye flick, the perfect cat eye, the perfect wing. And there are several people like myself who can never pull that off. So I was on, I can't remember if it's Instagram, Facebook, one of those things. And I came across eye candy and it's the gentle adhesive eyeliner stencil by Beth Beauty Blender. And it says it's eye inspiring. So is it? We're going to see. And since I'm an idiot, we're going to see how idiot proof these things are. <laughs> so let's break in. Okay, so I got the starter pack. And basically, they do give you instructions on here um, on how to apply to get your perfect wing. You can share your look at pound Beth Bender Beauty. She's on um, Facebook, Instagram, and the Twitter. So in the starter pack, you get several of these little pieces of paper. And in them has, and you can't really see them because it's all white, these little stickers. So, um, Let's get ready to do some stickers. I feel like I'm back in grade school when I used to collect them. Okay, so I'm already making a mistake of somehow it's sticking. Okay, so we pull off these little sticker dudes and they look like this. And that's supposed to help me get the perfect wing. I'm not sure how this is going to work. So I'm coming off camera, bear with me. And part of my problem is I've got a hooded eye. So this could get really interesting. I don't know that I got these right. Let me pull this off. How hard is applying a sticker? I mean, really? Come on. All right. The sticker's on. I'm almost afraid to try a water liner. Um, so we're going to go with, if I can find a pencil of some sort. All right. So we found a brown one. This one's a waterproof eye definer by Rimmel. And I'm going to 
find my handy dandy little mirror. We are going to trace on the perfect wing. Okay, this is moving on my upper eye, so I may have to do my upper eye separate. But let's just see if we get this perfect wing. And it made my eye water. <laughs> so let me dry that off. And do we have the perfect wing? We may have the outline of a perfect wing. So let's do the other side. And that may help us draw it in. All right, so here we go again. So we're going to take this little bad boy, line it up, and let's draw it in. Except I think this one went way higher than the other one. It feels way bigger than the other one. Oh. And so it does give an outline of a wing. You just have to make sure your wings line up and obviously mine didn't. This wing looks a little higher, but it did give a nice, um, point where sometimes I have issues with my points. Look at my eyes watering. I don't know why they're watering so bad. So I'm going to um, try to finish up where this little stencil started. Wish me luck. Okay, so I finished kind of doing it with a pencil. I'm going to switch to a cream liner because I seem, I, li I just like cream liners better. And I'm going to use my favorite, this one's by L'Oreal and it is called Bronze. So we're going to see if I can't fix that little tip or provide some additional definition. Okay, so I've got some, a flick of some, of a big sword, and um, I've never been able to do that. So I would say that A, it, you need to get these lined up at the same time. I didn't do that, um, so I learned from my first bit. And B, um, using the cream eyeliner was much easier than the pencil, but don't ask me why I thought using a pencil would be good. Um, and C, considering this was my first shot since I'd never used this, I'm going to try it again and see if I can't perfect it in a later video. But considering that I am um, 
challenged at best when it comes to doing wings. This was actually kind of fun. I feel like I have a wing for the first time um, that looks like a wing instead of um, a broken wing. So again, I'm, I'm going to finish up my eyelashes and then we'll go from there. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching my channel today. So using these um, Beth Bender Beauty stencils actually helped me create a wing for the first time that looked like it should, which was a wing. And I never used these before, so kind of proud at, at how easy they are. I did not use directions. I just kind of peeled them off and stuck them on. Now, if I was going to do it again, which I will do this again because I'm excited to finally have a decent wing, is I would put them on at the same time so that um, I can make sure they're a little more symmetrical. When I took them off, I had to fix this one and bring it up a little bit because this one I had further out. But it was a little hard to film and try to do the tutorial. I don't think I could have done both at the same time. So when I'm in my private little moment of trying to do a wing, I will actually make sure they're more symmetrical. Um, I would not recommend using a pencil liner. That made it a little bit harder. But for the first time, it gave me a nice light outline so that I could adjust. So, you know, it's kind of... There's winning, I guess there's a way to do it both, do it both ways. But um, in the Beth, so in the Beth Beauty starter pack, it also has um, another couple stencils. One to do a nice dark smoky eye, which I plan on trying tomorrow. And then um, if you have trouble with the bottom liner, etc., there's a di another um, basic guard. So. I will say the Eye Candy Gentle Adhesive Eyeliner Stencils is something that I plan on keeping in my arsenal because I have the hardest time with winged liner. No matter how much I try, I just can't be one of those women that do it. So anyways, if you are like me and you have issues, Beth Bender Beauty might help you solve your problems like they helped me solve mine. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and as always, make it a beautiful day! Please subscribe, please subscribe, and if you haven't already, or if you have already, refer me to a friend.